there's nothing more powerful than the, hey, I'm the CEO or the founder of this company. I built this product because I saw a problem that I wanted to solve, and I think it's going to resonate with you. And I think in the early days, that personal story and personal touch is an amazing way to kind of catalyze and kickstart these right. efforts. I think over time, as you expand and you build more brand awareness, you then actually start to create a little gravity towards creators and influencers wanting to work with your brand. And then I think the influencer marketing manager role starts to evolve to like relationship building at scale, fielding and filtering actually inbound interest, as opposed to needing to send out a thousand messages to maybe get, right. you know, 50 people enrolled. Uh, and I think like, you, you know, so it's kind of this evolving thing over the life cycle of the company. And then I, you know, and I, and I think we'll get into too about how different creators and different influencer partnerships can serve different objectives within your business. Um, but I think, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. I'm sure a little later. Yeah. When talking about maybe mistakes that a lot of companies did in the past, maybe still do, is how to work with a creator, with an influencer. Uh, because as you said, it's a partnership. And I think a lot of, in the beginning, they were just putting money out and do whatever you want. But you need to give the, the creator, the influencer, the right tools. That's where you come in with Super Affiliate. Talk me a little bit on how do you make a influencer happy with the partnership? What do you yeah. need to provide from your side? I mean, I think... Partnering with an influencer is the same as any other partnership. I think it's all coming down to like alignment of incentives. Um, and I think it is a very personal thing. It's a relationship-based channel. It's not like Meta where I can just dump $50,000 in and get you know X multiple, hopefully, of that out. So I think where I see like influencer partnerships going wrong, I'll start there, is like a misalignment of incentives or expectations. So I'm a brand, I'm getting started. You know, I want influencer to be 20% of my revenue because I heard that that's what Athletic Greens does. So then I go out there and I just partner with a couple of people. I give them an affiliate link and say, post this out there and hopefully it works. 